All right, all right. Welcome back, you crypto miners. If you are still mining in this bear market in this crypto winter, good on you. Keep the faith. Keep stacking those satoshis. Uh, that is where men are made, and you may uh, you may you may pay off in the next bull market. Nobody knows. But uh, with electricity costs going up and this dreaded Ethereum merge and this difficulty bomb hanging over everybody's head, I saw this article I thought we'd talk about it real quick. So we have Ethereum's merge, Ethereum's merge to reduce demand for GPUs. So says Morgan Stanley. Rut row. All right. I wonder if this is going to hit hurt NVIDIA stock. So I, uh, full disclosure, I do own NVIDIA stock. It is down over 50% since I bought it. So do not listen to any financial investing advice from me. I do it completely wrong. So that was a stupid buy. I don't know what I was thinking. I bought it to height. Uh, dumb, dumb, dumb. Anyway, let's, so let's just look at the summary. So according to a Morgan Stanley analyst, uh, demand for GPUs should reduce with Ethereum transitioning into a proof-of-stake uh, network. Yep, we knew that. The crypto drawdown has further reduced the profitability of Ethereum mining. That is true. However, the Ethereum mining community could venture into alternatives such as Ethereum uh, Cash and Ravencoin even Ethereum Classic, but you have a lot of ASICs on Ethereum Classic. So we already know this stuff. I tell people, don't buy GPUs now. They're, it looks tempting. The uh, scalper prices will now be a lot lower, uh, if not MSRP, if not below MSRP. You're seeing a lot of guys with weak hands selling your equipment, selling their rigs, and they're wanting a lot of money yet. They're trying to cash out and kind of get their ROI if they can. I don't care. I'm holding because I've always made a mistake of jumping out of a trend, a fad, or whatever, a, a, a something that's going to be beneficial too soon, and then a year or two later, bam, I wish I would have kept my equipment. I, would, I wish I would have kept doing that. And so I'm just going to hold this time. This is a, uh, I invested holding for the long term, holding the equipment, holding the coins. Yeah. So yeah, the old proof of work algorithm to proof of stake through the merge of the beacon chain with the ETH mainnet could reduce demand for GPUs. All right. Yeah, we knew that. So, all right, let's go on. Bitcoin and Ethereum currently require powerful computers for the mining process and consume a lot of energy, which governments, boo, and regulators are increasingly concerned over. If Ethereum moves to using proof of stake, it will eliminate the need for miners, reducing demand for GPUs, and drastically reduce energy requirements. All right, I still think that's a cover. I don't buy that. I think they're using that as just, like I said, the cover story to uh, centralize and uh, also, the staking will make the guys that got the pre-mined Ethereum lots of money. So, come on, follow the money. That's where the truth is. Ethereum miners could find alternatives in Ethereum Classic. We mentioned that in Ravecoin. I think it's Ravencoin. I wish uh, they should they should uh, spell check these documents. And that's from Bloomberg. Yeah, Ravencoin, oh, do they use a lot of power when you're mining? I can't remember. One of those Flux or Ravencoin, I think Ravencoin just just draws a lot more energy from the GPUs. I may be wrong on that. All right. However, in another analysis by Bloomberg uh, in June, it was forecasted that Ethereum miners would probably keep mining till the merge occurs later this year. Furthermore, some miners consider transitioning their Ethereum miners to mine Ethereum Classic or Raven. Now they got it wrong again. They got Raven coin here. Come on, guys. How hard is it? You got this. This is my point. Anybody can do this, can write these articles. These guys who go get these fake liberal arts degrees that they're in debt for $200,000 a year and they're making 40000 writing articles like this. It's a joke. Look, Revencoin and they got Ravecoin. They can't, even, they can't even see consistency in their own articles. Anyway, enough about that. That's just my little pet peeve that if you want to do something, you can write these articles. You can make videos about this stuff. It doesn't take a genius. These guys, come on. <laughs> and you're not in debt from some uh, silly piece of paper they got from college. Oh, my God. The team at Ethereum Classic has already started enticing existing Ethereum miners by requesting that they plan their migration to EDC before the merge occurs. They further emphasize that Ethereum Classic was more than able to handle the abandoned ETH hash, hash rate. Really? Very confident, are we? Okay. This merge event will disenfranchise the largest EVMs proof of work mining ecosystem. Ethereum Classic is well positioned to absorb 
much of this abandoned ETH hash, hash rate. Yeah, however, ETH hash miners might not realize that Ethereum Classic operates a modified version of ETH hash called ETC hash. Well, I knew that, and I'm an idiot. So, but I'm, I'm concerned that there's going to be everyone moving there, and there's a lot of ASICs on Ethereum Classic already. I'm playing around a little bit right now with Ethereum Classic just to see if I can do anything. I'm using uh, two miner stratum uh, network time test to see which is the best, fastest mining pool for me. Because uh, I was doing Zerg pool, but oh my God, they have the worst latency times for me. I'm like, what, what, what am I doing? But I do have my CPUs on those on Zerg pool. That's another conversation. That's another video. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of right now, I think a lot of smart miners are in the probing around or some are just riding out Ethereum until they can't mine no more and just eating the, eating the electricity cost. Uh, I don't want to really do that because uh, everything has spiked with the economy, with the country, the way it's being run. Uh, energy prices have gone up as well. Electricity costs have gone up 25% in my area. So uh, it's not really worth it to just eat all that money. Hundreds of bucks a month. Yeah. But uh, I'm still experimenting with stuff. Ethereum Classic, uh, some other coins, Bitcoin Gold I saw. It has a huge reward, but it's just hard to hit it. Yeah, all these things, I just don't know. I'm in discovery mode as well, as well as uh, probably most of you are. Some are geniuses. Like I was looking at Zerg Pool and ETC uh, hash. No one was solo mining. I had two little rigs on it, two little GPUs. Oh, maybe I'll hit. No, guy comes in, swoops in, gobbles up two of those ETC blocks for like a couple hundred bucks. I went, what? Oh, just, a, I don't know. Some guys know when the blocks are going to hit, I think. And he solo mined that, but he, 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 uh, he sniped that puppy from me. Anyway, oh, let's go. If you're new to the ETC mining ecosystem, you found a long-term home on Ethereum Classic and Battle Test the Network where you can properly plan your mining business capital and operational expenditures around a predictable monetary policy and stable network. That is why they integrate throughout the uh, crypto verse, baby. All right, that is it. So they're shilling, they're pushing ETC hash. Um, I don't know. You guys got to do your own numbers, your own math. Uh, are you willing to eat your electricity costs? Are you keep mining Ethereum? What I do now, I will mine uh, Ethereum. Mine. I'm just going to get, I just want to get a little Ethereum to add to my stack. I was mining to Bitcoin. I just want to get a little bit to see what I can get. It's, I'm talking point 0.1. It's nothing, right? Uh, but again, I turn it off during the day because it's hot. I don't need to heat up the building and I'll run it at night. And uh, yeah, that way cut my electricity cost as much so it's a trade-off stacking coins versus running full board getting nothing and burning a lot of electricity and uh having to pay that out of pocket because i do hold all my coins uh probably to my detriment right sometimes you got to take profits but right now not now it's a bear crypto winter and it's getting cold oh. anyway speaking of that let's wrap up uh let's wrap up where are we on the old markets 20 oh 20,618 on Bitcoin. Ether Ethereum is at 1185. All right. These are my watch list. Let's turn that off and see what comes in. Wow. Things are slow. Yeah, things are all red today. All right. Good enough on that. And what is, what is the block time? Oh, we're high. We're getting uh, under three blocks a minute. Three blocks, a little under four blocks a minute. Under four. I'm going to say three blocks a minute. 16.28. Yeah, that block time's got to come down. It should come down, I heard. Hopefully, it'll come down in a day or two. We'll see what happens. But don't hold your breath. Uh, that is all I got. I think there's nothing else to talk about. Just keep mining. Uh, people are saying, I mean, the big guys are starting to get wind that the uh, GPU will be uh, affecting the market. The lack of POW may affect the GPU market. But they don't mention a video or any of the companies in here, which is kind of interesting. So anyway, go forth, keep mining. Keep mining. Stack those coins if you can. If you're paying too much electricity, you have to decide if it's worth it to you to keep doing that, dealing with the heat, dealing with the um, the energy consumption and your huge power bill, which you're going to get each month, regardless of if you're mining or not. <laughs> you can turn those things off and maybe cut your power bill down. Ah, you got to decide. It's all It's all what you're in it for. You either stacking coins, take that money you'd spend on electricity and buy the coin outright from a, a, an exchange. And if you are buying stuff on exchange and you have crypto on an exchange right now, you better get it off. Get it into your uh, desktop wallet or something. Get it into your cold storage. Uh, now, a lot of uh, with the Celsius thing, freezing withdrawals and panicking people and, uh, you know, 
started with Luna going to zero and now the Celsius platform and then other platforms, even Voyager sent out emails going, we're, we may limit withdrawals. So that's scary. They're going to, that's your money. Get it off the exchanges. It's not, it's not a good place to have them. Put them in your, uh, your, your wallets, your, that you have the keys for, uh, not your key, not your keys, not your coins. That is a true saying. And I, I learned that I haven't lost anything, but it, 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 in the market now with like, with what is going on with these uh, platforms, Celsius and, uh, and some of these BlockFi, Voyager, Coinbase. Don't leave the money out there. Don't leave the crypto out there hanging. All right, man, that is all I got. All right, go forth, keep mining. Talk to you later.